you never understand other people's play pains planes pains <laughs> Hi guys welcome to my channel and all i do is sit on my bed and discuss and have fun like literally like on my phone uh, i'm just having fun and discussing with you guys and i've noticed that this channel has been gaining attention just from that just from that nothing hectic no part no like just holding my phone and like way guys i appreciate your love like i appreciate your love and support but that's a video for another day i will make that um appreciation video another time but i wanted to get into this uh, woman's story and i was touched by it and i wanted to put it out there for people to know about what's happening in africa and to people to just learn and hear this woman's story so let's just listen to the story i have nothing to add but to say let's add let's just let's do that trigger warning guys trigger warning if you don't like horrific studies go now i was born in 1993 in somalia at the age of six years old along with my five-year-old cousin and my seven-year-old sister we were told that we were going to have a procedure called guditan we didn't know what it was, but we were told that it was something to look forward to. It was, you know, you're going to become a woman, more respected, cleaner, and best believe whoever did not have it in that town would be bullied, <laughs> social exclusion, okay? So we were like, I ain't about that life. They used to call girls who didn't have it, um, a clitoris, the girl with the clitoris. It was just dirty. The clitoris was just considered dirty. Okay? So, I was taken to my grandma's house. Yeah? This is me. And um, my five-year-old cousin and my seven-year-old sister. There was a woman there, a strange-looking woman, sat down on a stool. There was another stool next to her. And my cousin went first. Again, we were really excited. Yeah? Free. When they're free out of our own free will. When my cousin was taken to the chair, they helped... Every, it was like war, war. They all started grabbing limbs, holding her down, and then spread her legs wide open. And the first thing they did is they used something like this. They used a double-sided razor, right? The cutter, like this. And she cut her clitoris she cut her libia menorah uh, and she cut her libia majora i was like what the fuck is this so bitch like me ran i was dragged back and then i had to watch her get sewn together then they uh, tied her legs together put her to the side and then it was my turn the cutter took that double-sided uh, double razor, cut my clitoris, cut my libia, cut my libia minora, libia majora, and then sewed me up. The feeling of being sewn alive, awake, is something I will never be able to describe. As a six-year-old child with no anesthetics, no painkillers, I can't even begin to explain. But that is female genital mutilation. When I say I was sewn together, when I say I was cut, and you want to see what it actually looks like, The clitoris hood is supposed to be here. The clitoris is supposed to be here. Yeah. This is the hole that they leave for you, urination. They sew you tight all the way down, leaving a small hole for period flow and penetration. They remove the libia, monora, and they remove 
majority, if not all, of the Libya. Majora. So, for 26 years, 25, 26 years, this is what my vagina looked like. This is the life of over 200 million women. They don't, they don't all have this. Some are sewn halfway. Some only have the clitoris removed. Some only have their labia minora removed. Some only have their labia majora removed. Some have it all removed. Some have only two or three things removed or two things or just one thing. You shouldn't be removing. You shouldn't be sewing no human being together. You shouldn't be cutting human beings and then physically sewing them shut because you're afraid that they're gonna have sex outside marriage because you're afraid they're going to get assaulted or because you're afraid they're not going to marry a respectable man because you're you, you you've heard that men only marry women who are not cut that sounds like a you problem it doesn't sound like a child's vagina problem the fact that a lot of people believe a vagina solely alone can bring shame on an entire community an entire family is crazy and if you have any faith whether it's christianity islam judaism any faith hinduism and you practice this you are going against god himself and i hope i am not there on the day that you are judged for committing this atrocity on your own women that you claim you love and fgm because this is inhumane thank you bye